What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another video. In this video, we have our client Malcolm here. What's going on, Malcolm? What's up? What's up? What's up? We're going to be showing you guys how we are attracting our ideal clients using um, our Facebook ads. So if you are a coach, a consultant, a service provider, a service provider, this is a strategy that you can use, right? So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to go into your um, a campaign, right? So this is a random campaign. So I'm not going to take the time to name it, but if this was you, you're going to name it whatever you're doing. So if it's lead generation, you're going to name that lead generation. I like to put the date and things of that nature, so on and so forth, right? Um, here, we're in the ad set level, by the way. This is the campaign level. So you would pick your, your campaign objective, whatever campaign objective you want. Um, then you will go back to the ad set level. And what we're mainly looking to do here is look for the different audiences that we're gonna do to send our ads to, right? So on our budget, we like to do these at $20 a day when we're testing our um, asset, just because it's a nice, nice good amount. And we may run these for initially three days, check out the data. And um, if things are looking good, we'll let them keep going. If we see some um, losers quickly, then we can shut those off and make the uh, proper adjustments that we need, right? So we'll put these at 20 a day. We may do three or four different ad sets depending on the budget, right? So what we can do here is quickly duplicate and quickly duplicate. Um, so let's say that's one, two, that's three, right? So each ad set, right? we're going to be sending our ad to a different audience. So for this specific campaign, we're only going to be testing the audience, meaning that the ad copy, the ad creative, the ad headline, everything else is going to be exactly the same. The only differences between these three different ad sets is going to be the audience in which you're sending it to. And this is what I mean when I say that, right? So we put in our budget, um, $20 a day. Does that make sense so far, Magam? Yep, 100%, 100%. All right, bet. So when we want to go down to detailed targeting, right? So for you, um, so we um, like to use our three-layer targeting strategy, which is basically just the first thing is something that's directly related to your product or service. The second thing is things that are closely related to your products and services. And the third thing is something that the your ideal clients would be interested in, right? So for the first layer, let's... Let's go through it with you. What would be something that is directly related to your product or your service? So something that helps people make money. What would you say um, or, you know, have a, like an idea of something that would be closely related to that? And let's see if they have it here. Um. So, yeah, for me, my main target audience is uh, nine to fivers and college students. So um, I don't sure, know if it would yeah. be good to go with like maybe college students or students or um. Yeah, so if you're looking- Blue collar for, workers. So if you're looking for people that are in college, right? So we put in education. I think this is a, a demographic people who are in college. So now you have an audience of 23, between 23 million and 27 million people, just like that, of all the people that you're looking for. You're looking for college students, boom. Here's 25 some odd million of them right here. Now you can show them your ad with your copy to get them to convert, right? Um, let's think of something else, right? Just to show you this. So for these ad sets, we're only going to be doing one audience per ad set. But in this example, I just want to go help you go through the three different layers for you so you can know for the future which audiences you may want to target, right? So okay. we did in college, right? So another thing is maybe um, you said employment. So what we could actually do is, I think, yeah, by where people work. So we can see like, industries right so we can even get more specific when we say nine to fivers like we can I mean, we can select all of these if we just want people who work in general or if we want specific um industries we can find them in here also so this is another thing that we would consider to be directly related um to what you offer um so we can do those two things are very very good um the second one is things that are closely related so What's closely related to your product or your service, right? Let's think about that. Um, yeah, and so it doesn't have to be something that's necessarily something that's everybody would think of. It could be something off the cuff that maybe you think could work. Um, shoot, man. Um, trying to think. I know it's helping people make money. So 
I know you can't really say, you know, money or something like that in the interest rate. No, um, but we can say business opportunity, something like oh, that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, maybe something like that'll work. I didn't think about that. So business opportunity is um is an interest that you can target between four and five point eight million people. So that's one you can look at um something that's closely related. So also, like when we get down to stuff like this, we have to think more about, OK, yeah, the nine to five, nine to fivers, yeah, they're college students. But what else about them? Like we have to know more about them, which will allow us to target them more. So, like, for example, for me, like if I know I'm looking for entrepreneurs and small business owners, like, OK, well, I know they may since they're entrepreneurs, they may be interested in something like Shark Tank or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, something like that, because I, I know who they are. So I know what they're interested in. Right. I see. Um, so another thing that's closely related, I would say maybe investing right because why do they want more money a lot of people want more money so they can save more so they can invest more so they can ultimately still make more by investing um so i know investing is one investor is one investment um and things of that nature right and the third one is what else are they interested in right so a nine to five or at a college student now this can be anything like this can literally be like um let's say let's say Benny Hanna, right? It can literally be something random like that. Like if your target market is nine to fivers and well, not necessarily for the college students, but you know, it's expensive, but for like the nine to fivers, we're not yeah. specifying how much money these people make. So Benny Hanna may be an interest that you may want to try because nine to fivers is such a broad, um, a broad area, so many different ways yeah. to say that, right? So, and the, the important thing is to just test all of these different, things right so we did let's show you let's go back to education and let's actually fill out all of these so you can see so this one we're going to do in college so this ad set will be going to people who are in college right and then we can select the ages that we will want to use so like what are college ages right 18 to what is like i don't 18 know 18 to 24 24 right 18 to, mm -hmm. um and then this is for now, this is the ad level, right? I'm not going to do all this because I'm not actually running this ad. But what you will do is select your Instagram account. This is where you will select your image or your video. You would just go here and um, select your ad image or ad video, and then you can upload it. This is where you will put your ad copy. Um, oh, okay. And then your website and all that good stuff goes down there also. And so let's just show you how we would look for all of these, right? So... I told you we're naming the ad set level, the people that we're targeting. So in college, I like to put the date, but you don't necessarily have to if you don't want to. This ad set, um, let's see, we had work. This is the wrong one, dummy. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's just use a random industry. Let's say management. Somebody's a nine to five or we're doing management for this ad set, right? Um, and for the last one, uh, what other ones did we come up with? Okay, let's say Benihana or whatever. The restaurant one, yeah. Yeah, and these are just random examples. Obviously, you'll be putting more thought into it, and then you can come up with a list of different things that you can say, all right, I'm going to test these different interests. And then when you get some data and you're actually getting actual um, data and stuff like that and conversions, you can actually create lookalike audiences of people who engage with you and stuff like that. Um, so make believe that all of these ads are completed Right, all of these ad levels are completed and we will be finished. All the ads are in here, all the copies in here, all of our headlines and website links are in here. Then we would just hit publish. And what we want to do is don't touch them for about at least three days, depending on um, what you do, your you know, your product, your service, and your industry. It may be at least a week before you touch it, but at least three days. After three days, you want to evaluate the data and then make um certain adjustments from there. But don't, I wouldn't make any adjustments before three days, no matter how good or bad um, the results may look to you. But yeah, so this is, what's that? My bad. It's, uh, so it's 60 a day because you're doing 20 per, or is that, it's 20 so for each one it depends, per day? It, it depends on your budget, right? So like if, if somebody only wants to spend, 
like forty dollars, if they only have forty dollars for this specific campaign, then they would do two. If they only have twenty, then they would do one. If they have a hundred, they would do five. They have, you know, what I'm saying, whatever yeah. your budget is, you can do um, as much or as little as possible. I just did three for the sake of example for this video. Okay. Um, but like, if the faster, the faster you test more audiences, the faster you will get the information, the faster you can make correct the mistakes, and the faster you can optimize. I will say that though. So like, okay. if we do like, let's say we do. $20 a day where we only do Benihana, right? Now it may take me a week to decide that Benihana doesn't work. Now next week I have to do in college. Then the next week I have to do management. All, but I could just do all three of them at the same time. And then in three days or a week, I know if all three of these are good or not. It would just help you scale a lot faster. Okay. Okay. Bet. Okay. But That's um, how I think I want to do it. Yeah. So however your budget is, just line it up like that. Um. Yeah. But yep. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe for more and as always if you guys want a professional advertising company to run your ads for you so you can grow your business make sure you guys take the link in the description and you set up a time to talk with us all right guys thank you guys and peace